Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I'm gonna be sharing with you my top 10 favorite spring fragrances. So if you guys wanna hear my thoughts on my favorite spring perfumes, then just keep watching. Okay, so this first fragrance, I don't hear too many people talking about, but this is from Zara. This is from the Zara Emotions line, and this is Rose Marshmallow Candy. This is what it looks like. The main accords are vanilla, sweet, powdery, and citrus. And the fragrance notes are vanilla, marshmallow, and I've been getting to know this one. I've been wearing it the last few days, and I really like it. It is very sweet. It is very gooey marshmallow, vanilla. It's such a yummy goodness. The problem I have with this fragrance is that it fades super quickly. I can get two hours wear out of this most two and a half to three at the most and by the three hour mark it's barely a skin scent um now this is very inexpensive so i do not mind reapplying this it is really really beautiful but if you're one of those people that hate that type of thing that think fragrances don't last on you i wouldn't recommend this but for those who don't mind don't mind for the price or put it in your bag this is a very sweet yummy gooey warmed up marshmallow with a little bit of the orange blood and vanilla mixed in but very very beautiful and i really like it. another zara scent is called wonder rose and it looks like this um i want to start getting the bigger bottles of the perfumes i want to say from zara i want to say those are the eau de parfums this is also a de toilette and the main accords are fruity, vanilla, sweet, fresh, aquatic, and powdery. The top notes are pear, middle notes red fruits, and base notes are vanilla. Um, now, I think I've seen someone say that this is a dupe for the Burberry Her. Um, I could see that because Burberry Her also has red fruits inside or red berries. But I don't know. But it's very, oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful, it's so soft. It does have a touch of powderiness to it. Um, I get a lot of that sweet fruitiness from it. So getting to know my fragrances and getting to know the notes and you know recognizing the notes when I smell them. So yeah, but it's a very beautiful. This one I can probably get about the same two to three hours of wear. I do, like I said, I want to purchase the Eau de Parfums so i can see if those last a little bit longer because these do not but again this is a very small bottle it's a one ounce bottle and so i can pop this little baby in my purse and go and just i love it it's very very beautiful so i highly recommend it if i could if i could recommend one over the other between these two zara fragrances um i think more people would like wonder rose over this it just it depends on your pride like sweeter and young and yeah but this one this one is good so yeah fragrance i have i rarely see anyone talk about this this is from the kkw line this is in nude silk right yeah she came out with a new line some months ago and i think it was like four different fragrances i picked this one up off of makari because i can't remember how much it is regular price but i know i paid less than whatever the regular price is i probably paid 20 bucks for this so i do like to shop on makari and if you have not already i will have my makari linked in below the main accords are fruity green white floral woody aromatic aromatic powdery fresh sweet and musky the top notes are green leaves cassius not sure if i'm saying that right bergamot middle notes are peach honeysuckle and peony base notes are solar notes white wood and musk so this fragrance is really different for me i've never had anything like this i don't get a lot of fruitiness from this I get a lot of green from this i don't really have any fragrances or green in it if i do it may be just one two possibly okay fresh cut grass but not like fresh cut grass but you get what i'm saying like that greenness that you smell when you have your lawn freshly cut it's definitely a lot of that i definitely get peach in here 
Um, I get the Burst of Bergamot also. It's not super, it's not super powdery to me. I just really like it. Let me see. Here. Let me smell like all type of stuff. I got this honestly because of the peach note. You can really pick up that peach note. Uh, I get the greenness and the peaches mixed together. This one, I can get like five hours of wear out of this before I have to um, reapply. This is also a Eau de Parfum, um, so that may be why. But it's so beautiful. Like, I love layering this with like a peachy body lotion and body spray. That way it pulls out a little bit more of the peachiness to this. It is really, really beautiful. It's very different from my taste. It's nothing that I, I've ever had. And I like it because it's expanding my perfume palette. So I like it. All right. So the next perfume is by Kaali. And this one is in Eden. Juicy Apple. So the main accords are fruity, sweet, woody, and vanilla. Top notes are red apple, black currant, um, pink grapefruit. Wild, middle notes are wild berries raspberry bloom jasmine may rose base notes are sugar musk vanilla moss and amber now this is also pretty different different in a good way um really juicy very very fruity you get that red apple immediately immediately when you spray this you get red apple the red apple sits and it mixes with the berries. Um, when it dries down, you start to get the musk and the vanilla. It's so good. I really, really like this. It's very beautiful. Um, the dry down, you definitely get a lot of the musk in here. But it's still very beautiful nonetheless. Still very sugary. So, absolutely love this. So, the next fragrance I know a lot of people love and talk about is by Giorgio Armani. And this is My Way. This is the original. Um, I did have the intense version, but I got rid of it. And I also, there's a newer My Way, but this is My Way original. And this is the Eau de Parfum. The main accords in here are white floral, tuberose, citrus, animalic, vanilla, and powdery. The top notes are orange, blossom, and bergamot. Middle notes are tuberose, Indian jasmine. Um, base notes are Madagascar, vanilla, white musk, and Virginian cedar. This is beautiful, you guys. This is so beautiful. It's so floral. It's just such a floral fragrance. It's very heavy, in my opinion, on a tuberose. People compare tuberose sometimes to like a bubblegum fra fragrance. I smell vanilla. I smell the powderiness. It's not super, super powdery, but it's very, very beautiful. Um, you definitely get the orange blossom and bergamot. In the opening, like I said, it's heavy to roast and you definitely get a little bit of that musk and vanilla mixed in. It is beautiful. Highly recommend this one. This is also like date worthy. Um, when I wear this, my husband always compliments me on this. He don't know what it is, but it's always is when he does compliment me. So he likes this on me. So I like it too. This next one, I'm not going to talk a lot about because I think I already mentioned it in one of my videos, but this is Burberry Her, the original Burberry Her. As you guys can see, I have a little drop in here. I did finally just order me a new bottle. It's one of my all-time favorites since I will forever have this in my collection. Um, the main accords are fruity, sweet, woody, musk, musky, and powdery. The top notes are strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, sour cherry, blackcurrant, mandarin, orange, and lemon. Middle notes are violet and jasmine, and base notes are musk, vanilla, cashmere, oak moss, woody notes, amber, and patchouli. This is by far, again, this is top five for me, probably top three, actually. It is so beautiful. Now, since expanding my palette and buying more fragrances and learning the notes and trying to pick up different notes in a perfume, I now see why people compare this to Mason Francis Frank de Jean Baccarat 540. It is not a dupe, in my opinion. It is definitely a sibling. It could be a cousin or a sister, a close sibling, but not twins. Um, they do have a little bit of the same DNA. 
Also, if you didn't know, the same person who made the Baccarat 540 also did the Burberry Her. Um, so this is definitely one of my favorite scents. It's very fruity, very sweet, very red, whole lot of berries. It's just, oh my God, it's just so beautiful. This one lasts for a lifetime on my skin. I absolutely love this. I'm so, so excited. I finally got a backup so I can go ahead and finish this a little bit. It's also by Burberry. This is Burberry Brick, but it looks like this. I got this, I think sometime last year. I heard Jasmine here on YouTube talking about this perfume and how beautiful it was. And so I wanted to pick it up and I have to agree, it is very beautiful. I didn't wear it a lot last year because I picked it up towards like fall and I just didn't really reach for it, but I reach for it so, so, so much now. And this one, um, you can buy from Fragrance Net. Like Fragrance Net, I love getting perfumes from Fragrance Net because you can get them at a discounted price. Um, and of course, and this are sweets, vanilla, fruity, almond, citrus, nutty, amber, floral, fresh, and powdery. The top notes are almond, lime, and pear. Middle notes are candied, candied almond, uh, sugar, peony. Base notes are vanilla, tonka bean, amber, and, and mahogany. This is beautiful. I have been wearing this so much these last couple of weeks. It is very citrusy. It, 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 the immediate fragrance I get is lime. I immediately get that. A burst of lime. Very, very bright. Um, I get a little bit of sugar. I'm not sure what candy almond and almond smell like. I don't really pick up a lot of the almond. I pick up a lot of the lime. I can pick up a little bit of the pear. But when it dries down, I get a lot of the mahogany and vanilla mixed together on my skin. Um, that is what picks up the most. And it's just so beautiful. And I probably paid not even somewhere close to 30 or 35 dollars for this if even that um but this is so beautiful and this is a one point this is a 1.6 full ounce so for that price you absolutely cannot beat that and this is it's beautiful this has been my favorite scent when i get out the shower because i've been wearing a lot of like citrus lime lemon type scents and i'll pair it with this and it just it smells so good so i absolutely recommend that one the next one i do not hear anyone talking about this next one i don't hear anyone talking about and it could be because it's discontinued it could be because who the brand was associated with originally but this is kat von d um as most of you all know kat von d is no longer a part of kat von d it is now kvd vegan beauty um but when she did have her line from sephora and it was on sale uh they originally had three bottles the 1.7 the 3.3 and then the one ounce they also had travel size i think i paid i know it was 50 percent off of this bottle um maybe 30 dollars maybe 35 i'm not even sure i'm gonna look it up and have it listed but you can no longer find this anymore now you can find this on a or like Macari or Poshmark and eBay, but they obviously, they jack up the prices a little bit, $100, $80, you know, something like that. But this is beautiful. And um, let me show you the bottle. The bottle is so pretty. Uh, the notes in here, the main accords are fruity, sweet, vanilla, powdery, white floral, floral, musky, fresh, aromatic, and soft, spicy. Top notes are Maribel, um, Clary Sage. Middle notes are Almond Blossom, Jasmine, Lily of the Valley. Base notes are Vanilla, Peach, Musk, and Cedar. This is so pretty. It's definitely a white floral. You get that for sure. It's different. Sage, when, I don't know. When I think of Sage, I wouldn't think of this. I definitely get the Jasmine. And here, I definitely get a lot of the peach in here. And the musky vanilla is definitely a, a little bit of a spicy dry down. But it smells really beautiful on the skin. It's just, it's so nice. And I'm so glad I got this. When I got it, I actually bought this one, which is Saint. 
and which I'm pretty sure I didn't tell you guys, but this is Kat Von D Saint, and I also have Center, which is the black one, but that is for another day. Last perfume I have is by Guerlain, and this is Mon Guerlain. Um, this is the original, this is the Eau de Parfum, this is the Big Daddy, the 3.3. I don't usually even buy 3.3, but I wanna say my mom got me this for Christmas, I think. I don't know. I know my mom got me this. Pretty sure it was for Christmas. Main accords are vanilla, lavender, woody, aromatic, powdery, balsamic, sweet, warm, spicy, fresh, spicy, and iris. Top notes are lavender and bergamot. Middle notes are iris, jasmine, sandback, um, and rose. Base notes are Tahitian uh. vanilla, Australian sandalwood, licorice, benzoin, patchouli. Um, this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. It's so grown up. It's so sexy. Mm. That bergamot. Ooh, the bergamot. I am obsessed with this perfume. It is so beautiful. It's so elegant. It's so elevated. I don't have anything like this in my collection. And I don't usually like lavender scents, but this one is done so well. Definitely get the bergamot heavy in this. Our first spray. You can get the lavender in here. I get the jasmine in here. I don't pick up rose, which is good on my skin because I don't like rose. And then you definitely in the dry down, you get that patchouli and I get some of that benzoin and that sandalwood. It's just, it's just so beautiful. It's, oh, it's so beautiful. It's so different. It's so grown up and I don't have anything like this in my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do my top favorite spring scents. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope some of these are your favorites. If they are, let me know if you have any of these and your thoughts on them. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.